Welcome back guys, thank you for joining me uh, all the way from whatever country you're, you're dialing in from on your uh, internet. Uh, thank you for all the subscribers and new subscribers. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day. Uh, for anywhere in the world, thank you for joining me. Dudesses, dudes, we're here today. I've been a week since I spoke to you guys last when I unboxed the land wheel. I've had trouble getting um, a flat deck that can sit these boosters on, like this one here. Uh, everyone's got drop downs they've got edges they've got kicks they've got kicktails so a big thank you and shout out to valley one of my subscribers who actually found this on gumtree for me and he'll be taking part in one of the uh, hill climbs i'll do and a big thank you to uh, cooper who sold me this deck for 50 dollars. and it's a beautiful nine ply canadian maple uh it's got like a it's got like the land yacht design with the flare out here it's quite a nice looking deck and it's really solid. I personally like a really solid deck to stand on. Like a, I'm a surfer, so I like a, a hard, non-flexing, non-concave, reverse. I like a really solid piece of real estate when I'm traveling at 35 kilometers an hour. This will do perfectly. So sit back and enjoy. We'll now throw to the trailer intro and we'll come back and show you what we're gonna be doing with this setup. <laughs> Well, welcome back. Okay, we're gonna be setting this up today in two, two so part, part A, part B. The part A will be the actual deck transformation that I do on my decks. I do a standard transformation. I've been pretty secretive on how I do it, but today I'll show you how I do it and how I set up that clear grip tape and insignias and stuff like that. So, 100% yes! We'll show you that. Number two, we're also gonna show you second part, if you wanna just slide the bar across to actually setting up the actual land wheel. And that will be, uh, that will be pretty much um, a few hacks on that, which will be uh, four millimeter foam. Thank you to Frankie Summer in, uh, in Berlin who started the whole process of the foam under the boosters. It's a brilliant ride, it feels so smooth. So sit back, grab some popcorn or a coffee and watch the whole land wheel V5 Generation 5 L3X setup on the new deck. Thank you so much, we'll talk soon. Okay guys, we're getting it off with a Victoria Knox knife, super thin, like a laser cutting tool, and you just work it like this, just peeling it back like an orange, and you will get it all off. Okay, and that's just about it there. Okay, that's the uh, leftover pieces. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome, guys. Check this, that's a, looks a big, reverse concave this is something that hasn't been around for a while not w concave but i kind of feel a lot safer standing in that little spoon area while i'm traveling 40 kilometers an hour yep okay moving I'm on just sanding the alien spray square off the the deck uh, to, just to reveal some nice grain on it that's the finished product when i've sanded it right back look at that it's come up beautifully you just pick up the grain on that. Look at that. And a beautiful concave on there. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, looks very impressive. That'll do. So I'm just marking out the grip tape for the element on the deck. Um, it's just going to be wide enough. Look at that. Can you believe it? And then where it flares out here, I'll have to use the clear grip tape on the ends with my Zulu shields. It's going to look good. Guys, it was tricky. I just got the element grip tape um, on and gee, it was it was tricky because it was just the right width to fit on both sides. Can you believe that? But as you can see, there's not one bubble in there. You can make sure there's no bubbles. Um, and yeah, looks good. So there you go. Phase one. Now the clear goes on the ends with my Zulu insignias. I've got to cut this out though still with the templates I've made, which you can see on paper. So you just sit on there and you template those out. Slide them wherever you want. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay guys, to get this nice knife laser edge join here, get a bit of paper and put it there, press it with your finger all the way across. And then when you remove it, you've got a nice indent there, which is gonna be cut with scissors to fit in perfectly as your template. Hey, we're back. I've just put my sponsor Tug and Gulf Oil on the back. Um, they come off with a sort of like decal, decal where they call um, self glue. 
So they're on the back ready for the clear. The Zulu Shield goes on the front, as we've seen before. Um, so yeah, that'll be the final kind of product. Uh, we've got a lot more to do though. We'll get back right, So it. I've now got the Zulu Shield on with the uh, Shield um, stitchings. Um, you just peel back your grip like this. And the idea is you put it in nice and neat. Guys, getting that knife edge in there, you just push it in with your thumb and you get virtually a laser cut. You can't even see the join. Now I'm just pushing it through with my hand over the stickers and finishing it nicely on the edge. You just trim off the edge with the razor blade like this, right round the edge, getting a nice beautiful finish on that edge. Hey guys, and that's now done. So I've just trimmed off the edge on that. And um, as you can see, there's the finished product of the Zulu Insignia on the front. And as you can see, the whole deck is now finished. Ready for the uh, land wheel to go on? Yeah, it came up pretty well, actually. Really impressed with that. Hey guys, there you go. Look at the detail of that. I'll get close up on this. You can't even see where that joins. Not even a torch could pick that up. Um, yeah, nice finish on it. It just gives a nice, you know, a nice polished, refined finish to the whole so thing. I've had a request to weigh both units. That's the Onanex 2 drive and the new Landwheel V5 drive, uh, which is the L3X. Now, they're the batteries, first of all. There's the Onan battery, quite big and chunky. And there's the Landwheel, the new Landwheel, quite small. So I've had this request from Mike Kane in New York. Uh, check out his uh, blog page. It's Atomic Superman uh, World Press. He, I'll put a link below. He's an amazing uh, journo and journalist who's getting into these booster boards. He's reviewing things. He's got a great um, page with you know pop culture and issues and stuff that's happening. So Mike, as you asked the request on uh, the weighing of these two, First of all, we'll weigh the Onan. There's the Onan. You can see it's on zero, the weighing scale. Right, I don't know if you can pick that up there. It's probably a little bit, um, there we go, it's a better angle. 400, it's okay. 1.4 uh, kilograms, so 1.4 kilograms. Okay, and then the lamb wheel, which is remarkably smaller and it travels faster than the Onan, I think. Whoa, if I can come around here, look at that. That's eight, that's eight, just over 800 grams. So we're looking at probably a third of the weight lighter, okay? Now we'll weigh the whole unit together with its drive. Okay, we'll now just weigh the Onan. We'll click this on there. This is a luggage scale, so it's pretty accurate. We'll do it in kilograms. 4.5 kilograms. 4.6 kilograms, there you go. Okay, and now we've got the Landwheel V5 LX3. There it is. What do you think, lighter or heavier? This will be so interesting. Okay, let go. 4.7. 4 4.7 kilos. Okay, it's actually heavier than the Onan, which is a good sign because that means the battery we know is lighter, but it means that the motors are bigger and uh, bigger and maybe stronger alloy in the trucks. Okay. Foam. We'll need tools, spring washers, bolts, uh, allen keys, get titanium allen keys. Okay. Right, let's get this on. Everything's out on the bench, uh, the deck ready to go. Let's get into it. First things first, let's get the actual uh, booster onto the board. It sits beautifully, as you can see. Gee, it's massive. Okay. Guys, get yourself some four millimeter foam. You can check it out there. Four. This is 4.5. It's quite thick. You can see my finger. It compresses in quite, quite well. So you don't need it to have longer bolts through the trucks. Um, so cut it out. Trace it with a pen and cut it out around the edge. Okay. Just cut out the foam with a pair of scissors and a, on the pen you've marked, and go outside of it. You really want to make this. Uh, sandwich like cheese on a hamburger. You want it to come out the side so it supports the metal in every way. Then you mark out the holes and what you then do is I recommend getting one of these belt uh, punches to definitely get it perfect uh, because the, the bolt can then go through nice and tight and it waterproofs it all. Then you just peel back the self-adhesive and put it straight on. Okay, now you put the self-adhesive foam onto the board so it actually stays on the actual deck 
like that so it doesn't collect any dirt or anything there because otherwise reverse way around the sticky stuff will just collect all rubbish around here so you need to put it down flat like that now just make sure the foam is really stuck down hard with your thumb push it everywhere like that so it forms that rubber beautiful waterproof finish there then cut out the front truck uh, foam piece which again you just cut out with scissors like this keeping around the edge okay that's all cut out now beautiful you can see to peel off now and put onto the front of the deck just there there you have the two foam pieces and punch these holes out as well just again with the the belt hole punch get the exact spot makes it so much nicer for the bolts to go through here's the foam on both ends this is imperative if you're going to do one of these boosted systems you've got to have four millimeter foam under the deck and i recommend putting it under gee it's such a heavy deck um putting it under on the deck with a self-adhesive and it sits like that and that becomes your base for your booster this is a thick foam which is four millimeter um, i've had to use longer screws and i've gone for a stainless steel and it's actually about one bolt um, width longer than the originals and that will give me the clearance for the four mil foam yeah. okay now i've just put the actual booster on now i didn't video it because it was a bit fiddly trying to get all the foam uh, the right height underneath as you can see um, there's a bit of a gap there as you can see which i think is good because that way the actual which the, all the circuitry board and esk is here it's sort of vibrating it's off the board i think it works better that way anyway uh that's on okay guys um, it comes with this rubber block only one and it goes on the front okay the front of the truck to lift the front up to match the back system just let you know that you have to put your shred light bracket on first before you put the nuts on Guys, I'll just show you the whole thing. I'll turn it over. There we go. Wow. Nice, eh? Pretty impressive. Um, yeah, it's it's just sleek. It's sexy. It's not light. I'll warn you now. That's I don't think it's as light as the owner. And it's got a, it's pretty much military spec engineering and machining in here. It's a more robust, solid unit. Um, sorry, I'm walking my screwdrivers. Um, yeah, no, there it is. It's, well, let's get out and test it, hey guys? So we'll just have a quick ride on it. It's gonna get dark, it's gonna thunderstorm soon, so I wanna get out there and just test this out now. Well, guys, here we are at the park. It's actually been 47 degrees today in Sydney, the hottest place on planet Earth today. Uh, and here I am at the park. I'm about to do a test with this new, beautiful Land Wheel Generation 5 L3X. Um, I'll know straight away as soon as I stand on it and ride it the, 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 the quality of this thing. So let's get into it. Okay, we'll just turn it on. Here we go. It's about to thunderstorm in about 15 minutes. It's going to be massive thunder. I'm trying to get out of here as quick as I can. Okay, guys, let's go for a ride with this and check it out. Wow. Okay, first of all, this thing is super quiet, super smooth and incredibly responsive. Whoa, you can't hear the motors. Absolutely dead quiet. It's responsive, it's smooth, incredibly fast. Whoa, this is a nice unit. This is 